Hello newbies, welcome to my new video. In today's video, we are going to hack accidental exposure of a private GraphQL fields lab. So in this lab, there is a user management function that is powered by GraphQL endpoint. And this lab is containing an access control vulnerability that we are going to use to access to the user credential fields. So our mission is to sign up as an administrator and then delete a user called Carlos. So in this lab, we are going to use InkWheel extension. So if you don't know how to use it or how to install it, so please watch my previous video. So without further ado, let's go and hack. And here we go, guys. So the first step, I'm going to activate Foxy Proxy. So I'm using Community Edition. And then let's go to proxy and let's go to intercept. Let's double click to intercept. And then let's go to HTTP history. So let me refresh the page. And here we go. Now we do have an endpoint using GraphQL, but in this case, I'm not going to scan this one. So I'm interesting by a login. So let's go to my account. And in here, let me try a random username and password. So let's say Popo. And let's use a random password. And here we go. So also in this function, it's using a GraphQL endpoint. So I'm going to send it to repeater and let's scan it together. And here we go. So now I can see that this is using a GraphQL. There is a GraphQL endpoint using a post method and using a JSON format. So let's go to inkql to see the query. And here we go. So now it's use mutation, login, and some extra informations in here. And let's say send. Okay. This is tell us that we cannot connect using these credentials. So our goal is to find an admin credential to connect. So let's go to pretty and let's copy the URL. And let's go to inkwell scanner. Let's paste. And here we go. Now I can recognize that we do have two type of queries. We have a mutation and query. So first, let me check the query and let's move forward. Let's move forward. And here we go. Now I do have three kinds of queries, get all the posts. So I guess this is the first one we saw when we refresh the page and then get post, I think by ID. And here we have get user. This is very interesting that it has an ID and it has a username and a password. So this is can be a leak of information of the user credential. So I'm going to try this query. So let's copy it and let's back to repeater. Let's go to inkql and let's paste it in here. And let's change the ID to one. So probably the administrator always have the ID number one and let's try. And here we go. Now we got an error and this is absolutely normal because this operation need a name and the name is already exist in the error message. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to add it to my query. And let's send again. And here we go. Now I have a username of administrator, ID number one, and its password. So let me check if there is other users or not. So let's use ID two. So, and here we go. This is a winner and its password is a Peter. Let's see if there is an ID three. And here we go. This is Carlos. So this is our target that we have to delete it. And let's see if there is a number four. And here we go. Now get user null. So it means this system has only three users, the admin and winner and Carlos. So let me back to the admin and let me use its credential. So let's go in here, admin and its password. And here we go. Now I'm connecting as an administrator. So let me go to admin panel and now I can delete Carlos, but I'm not going to do that before checking the mutation queries. So let's back to inkwell scanner. Let's go to mutation and let's see what we have in here. 
So definitely we have a login that we already use it to make the login and we have a change email. So that means this delete function doesn't use a GraphQL. And this is a little bit weird because if we do have a delete function in here, we can delete it directly without even connect as an administrator. So now let's delete Carlos and solve the lab. And here we go. Now we hack it successfully. So thank you for watching guys and stay tuned for the next video.